NBC4's Macy Jenkins live in our newsroom now with these wild allegations. Macy. Hi, Kathy and Carolyn. Well, listen, according to the lawsuit, two former teachers noticed multiple health and safety violations, as well as strict rules they found bizarre for a school with children. Now, they claim Kanye West did not allow chairs, didn't like classes on the second floor, didn't allow utensils or student artwork in color. But we didn't even have silverware for the children. They ate with their hand. That is ridiculous. Educator Cecilia Haley and her daughter, Chikari Byers, suing private Christian school Donda Academy and its founder, Kanye West, claiming discrimination and multiple labor code violations. Chaos does not work in education. Haley was hired as a substitute back in November. In January, she was promoted to a full-time second and third grade teacher. And I was really honored that Donda offered me a contract to stay and teach for the academic year. But right away, she says she started to see red flags. We'd find medications in, in, on top of the microwave. No sign in, no sign out sheet. So people from off the street could just come into the school. We we're not supposed to do any kind of crossword puzzles. In a complaint, there are claims that students were being subject to severe bullying, that the school didn't have any janitorial services, and that the only lunch available for students was sushi every single day. They would just go all day not eating. Because a lot of kids just don't eat raw sushi. I'm only going off of what I've heard that this is what Kanye wanted. She says she believes many of the parents and staff members were starstruck and unwilling to speak up. I told my principal that I did want to speak to Kanye personally. She told me that that would not happen and if I did he would fire me. Then last month she and her daughter were suddenly served with termination letters in the school's parking lot with no explanation. The lawsuit claims the two women, who are both black, were fired in retaliation for speaking up about what Haley describes as an unsafe educational environment. And if he's going to run a school, he needs to get people in place that he cannot control, that are, that, um, are going to do the right thing, and he needs to listen to them. Now, Haley's attorney claims that the mother and daughter pair were the only two black female teachers at Donda, and they say they were labeled as aggressive, not taken seriously by the school's leadership. We tried reaching out to both Kanye West and the Donda Academy for a statement on the lawsuit, but we have not heard back from them. Live in the newsroom tonight, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News.